Hey, salut tout le monde, welcome to the channel, welcome to the vlog. Today I am joined by Allison once again. This is Allison's second time on the channel. This time, roughly last year, she was on the sled for the first time in like 30 years. If you haven't seen that one, check it out. <laughs> that was a day ride she was a part of, but today we're driving out to Cochrane. We're gonna spend the night in Cochrane, and then tomorrow morning we're gonna head out on the sleds towards Cap. I've never actually ridden out that way, so that's gonna be a first for me. And it's Allison's first multi day sled trip. We're calling this kilometers for Cochrane. Kilometers for Cock, kilometers for Cochrane, whichever, whichever one. It's the most kilometers I've put towards Cock in a long time. No cap. <laughs> <laughs> Heading north, we packed light. We've got a saddlebag. What'd you bring, Ali? Uh, wet wipes, contact solution, Advil and allergy pills, and two pairs of socks. Sounds right. Uh, one shared Lunchable that we haven't tapped into, but is for sure room temperature now. Is it like the, the premium one? Does it have a chocolate bar? Which chocolate bar? Uh, no, I got the adult Lunchables, okay. which does not include a Kit Kat, but it gives you like salami. Okay. As opposed to less uh, like the cooked ham slices. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. This comes with like salami and fancier crackers. Hmm. Sounds shitty. I'd prefer the kids version, to be honest. All right, we're gonna do a little quick stop at the watershed soon. We're gonna fuel up the sleds, have some dinner. Will it reach? Do you want me to move you up a little? I don't know if that will help. Maybe. I think it will. <laughs> a couple things here. One, oil change required. Yeah. Two, the redneck spittoon cup you have in your door for your spits. Yikesies. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Here you go for <laughs> spittoon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna, uh, I'm, yeah. I'm not judging it, it's I'm so just cute. acknowledging it. Yeah, yep. Yeah. The amount of things that I used to use as a spittoon for spits, I get it. I've had many coffee cups. Yeah. Yeah. I've used some doozies. And this is a... And sometimes they charge you for them, these fuckers. I also <laughs> noticed this was a house cup of yours. <laughs> yeah, I've graduated. I used to do coffee cups, but like I said, but then sometimes they charge me, and I'll, nope. Yeah. Plus the environment. Fine. Going green. Yep. You fill up here. I fill up there. We've made it to Watershed 144. This episode's actually sponsored by the Watershed. Great stop on your way up north. They've got tons to choose from, whether it's to stop at the brand new renovated restaurant there's food to grab on the go or if you want to grab some gifts for the family i'd have to say that one of my favorite things that they sell here is the genuine leather and fur products they are made in canada in quebec they are super high quality we've got fox um, rabbit beaver of course we're just riding in quebec not long ago and they said that a ton of people ride their sleds with especially these boots and the mitts they're very popular out there they're lightweight water resistant pretty awesome i haven't personally tried riding with this stuff but they tell me that it's worth a shot so they are offering you guys no tax they also have a web store that they are working on so if you're not driving through and you still want to purchase these amazing boots or mitts or even they've got hats as well check out their website would you say that those are seal skin covered boots in the middle maybe yeah what's a seal in french okay it's actually a serious quiz do you guys know what the french word for seal is but 
But my kids love that word. <laughs> they also love that joke, I by mean. the way. <laughs> oh. It almost nice. doesn't even look real. It looks so good. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Awesome, thank you. <laughs> there you go. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah? I've never eaten a burger this big. I mean... Okay. It has to be crushed. Jeez. Two giant patties, cheese, bacon, onion ring, tomato, works, two layers of cheese. Let's go. You gotta learn to unhinge your jaw. Do they have classes for that? Huh? Oh, oh, oh. It's so good. A little bit more of a ride. Doing the rest of the way to Cochrane. We've got uh, a few more hours to go, I guess. Allison had to learn how to really travel light. This is my purse. She's cold. Good morning, everybody, from this first day of spring. No, yesterday. Yesterday was the first day of spring. It's a balmy minus 20 this morning. Maybe feels like minus 24 with wind chill in Cochrane. Ali and I have got the sleds ready. We're heading out. We're putting on a minimum of 150k to get to Capron. To, to Capron. To Capus Casin. Capron. Cochrane. Capus Casing. Yeah. Mix the two. Capron. <laughs> We're heading to Capus Casing. If we still have some time, maybe we'll ride around. We'll be taking the A trail the whole way. Should be a beauty. Let's get it. So I kind of fucked up. Ali borrowed Heather's helmet and I forgot to grab the little chin curtain underneath. So on these types of trails, it's quite a bit of wind. A little chilly this morning. Allison's a little cold on the face. So thankfully we've got a little duct tape fix. I've never felt so cared for. <laughs> Hopefully that works. More better already.
what you call a little case of whiskey throttle. I've got a question for you. The toilet paper triangle, when you put three pieces of toilet paper down on the seat, what if somebody doesn't flush it down, leaves it there for you? You do uh, fresh new toilet paper or do you, do you reuse? Prior to um, scrapping the yard sale that was left on the seat, um, I would thank them for what I assume is mindfulness and kindness and paying it forward. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and pass. During our drive here, Allison and I were talking about our shit diets when we were kids. Well, mainly me. <laughs> and uh, one of my go-tos was Smurfagetti. And uh, we both agreed that all the Gettys were amazing. Alphagetti, Smurfagetti, what else was there? Zoodles. Zoodles. They weren't Gettys, but they were. Yeah, 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 same, same sauce. <laughs> <laughs> and so we asked what the soup of the day was. Like homemade Alphagetti soup, just there rice and stuff. Perfect. Lo and behold. <laughs> it's got the same very tomato, uh, very tomato taste. <laughs> For dinner, Allison decided to check to see what we could get delivered here. Mm -hmm. O'Brien's classic grill puts in nachos delivered right to the door in Capus casing. Amazing. Formerly McPherson. Fun fact. Capus casing up until 1917 was named McPherson, to which they changed the name as to not confuse another rail stop that was in Manitoba. You're welcome. Now we know. We're just getting ready to leave. It is springtime, but we got another little blast of winter here last night. Snowed, it then turned kind of mild. Um, so it's very kind of uh, icy snow. It's very difficult to wipe the sleds off this morning. We're ready to go. We're basically doing the A trail right back to Cochrane, and then we're driving all the way home. So we've got an, like another four hour drive after that. So we've got a big day. We are excited to hit the trail. It's gonna be a little bit milder. Should be good, let's go.
did smoothies for lunch yesterday in Smooth Rock Falls, so today we decided to do something a little bit different. The guys from Sled Addicts had highly recommended Ellie's Bistro, so we decided to give it a shot, and the food is fantastic. I had a Philly cheesesteak, Allison had a chicken sandwich, we had chicken noodle soup. It was awesome, highly recommend, check it out. We've got 68 kilometers left to get to Cochrane. Then we drive home. Dude. 